So we're going to Walmart right now to do the Walmart Clipper Challenge. Bonzo's gonna be my model. We're gonna buy a clipper and a trimmer, what you think? Yeah, that's enough. That's clipper, enough. We're gonna buy a clipper, a trimmer from Walmart, and hopefully we can produce some great content and prove to y'all you can do a quality haircut with Walmart clippers. They got cordless ones, but it don't have a lever. We're gonna go live. Instagram Bazio Cut. I do these live streams every once in a while. We're doing the Walmart Clipper Challenge. So we're here in Walmart, me and Fonz. Fonz What's going is on? And we wanna know which clipper we should buy. And I'm thinking about getting a clipper and I'm thinking about getting a trimmer. What do y'all think? I'm thinking the cheaper the better. I was thinking getting this. 20 bucks, comes with everything. It's a great start. Then there's this car in there for the same price. There's this cordless one, but it don't have a lever, so we can't mess with that one. Look at this, this is a wall trimmer, but it's 30 bucks. There's an Andy's one, it's 35 bucks. That's too much money, we can't We can't do that, right? For that, you might as well get you some or something that's legit. Some heroes. They're all telling me, hey, I gonna make this difficult. Y'all telling me to get the car mirrors? Oh, they got this one. The wall's for twenty dollars. Yeah, this ain't a, this is too easy. Like, so we should go with this one. One eighth, one fourth, three eighths, half. There's no gray half cold, guys. <laughs> All right, that's twenty dollars. You got these corners that are cordless, but that's thirty bucks. That's too much money, right? The thirty dollars. Yeah, this one thirty bucks and it comes with the with the whole set. That's wall. It's gotta have a lever or, or it don't make sense. This come with the whole set for forty bucks. This one would definitely be too easy. That's the Elite Pro. 50 bucks. Are they crazy? $34 for the set. I like these Conairs though. But that's too expensive. 30 bucks. Say Conair or Color Pro. Which one should I go with? Alright guys. Damn. Here we go. This is the setup. Y'all ready? My hitters, my hitters. My hitters, my hitters. Father, I don't know why you're laughing because I'm cutting your hair. <laughs> so all together we're looking at a setup that's gonna cost $35. $35 for the kit. Comes with the guards. But do these come with a cape? Cause I will use the cape. Comes with two hair clips. Oh, it comes with a cape. I gotta use the cape and everything. Can y'all help me out? Do they sell the eyebrow razors at Walmart? Oh, they said check the makeup aisle. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Bro, those are the worst eyebrow shapers I've ever seen. <laughs> they said, boom, these are the ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, this ain't Walmart Clipper Challenge. This is Walmart, the whole damn set. Walmart Barber Challenge. Yo, the unboxing. The unbox. I got guys. We're, we're live streaming on Instagram right now. Comes with a comb. Comes with a little clipper pouch. Oh my god! Look at this cord. This cord will break after like after like three haircuts. Look at these little combs. I'm supposed to fade with these. And here go the hitters right here. Oh my god! And right now I'm trying to see if I could set these bad boys up. Oh, you can't adjust these, bro. You cannot adjust these. This is whack, bro. Uh, by any means necessary. Look at these little wires, bro. There's no way this would make it through a day in the shop, man. Y'all ready to hear the sound of some hitters? <laughs> Here we go. Yo, these things ain't working? What? You gotta be kidding me. Got Damn, Walmart! Got him! Let me see him. Give me the, give me the screw. We're gonna figure this out. Give me the screwdriver. Yo, now let's, let's unbox this. Your boy Fonzo is not giving up on these trimmers right here. The Conairs. Look at all these goodies that come in here. <laughs> Masters don't come with all this stuff. You got this bad boy. I got combs in here. And you got shears. Hair clip, clipper oil, clipper brush. Connor's doing right by me. Is this the cape? <laughs> this is a trash bag, man. <laughs> what the hell? Damn, Connor. Yo, this is a bag. This is the cape. Oh my hey. god. Then they had the nerve to put that little logo on there. <laughs> I'm done, man. What the hell? Yo, you ready for this? Oh, this is the clicking one. Oh, it's not even smooth. I'm done, bro. Toilet paper. <laughs> Shout out to Con Air. Uh, put in 
you hit him quicker. <laughs> click, 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 click. As you're fading, dang, imagine that in shot all day long. Click nice eyebrows. Click that. Boom. Hey, somebody put Chris, <laughs> Chris be saying at this point, you can see the fade is pretty much coming together. You know how you say it in your videos? That's true though, you do say that. You got no half guard, so you gotta do it like this. What, you doing like a raking? Yeah. Oh snap, blur? Blur station? Basio, why don't you grow a beard? Tell him the truth, Basio. Cause I don't want to. Cause what? Cause I don't want to. What? Nate. I can grow a beard, ain't gonna connect, but I can grow one. Man, <laughs> Nate, get a close up on his face, bro. It's pretty full. Cool. It's almost there. It's almost there. Yeah. This is this little part right here. This little patch right here. And then we got money. I could, I could easily put big in a, a kiss or fibers. Like, you know what I mean? Like Fonzo does, but. Get out of here. This is, this is natural, alright? Natural. I'm gonna do all that. Boy, scissor work. That scissor work. How many times do you go to the gym, Basio? <laughs> Lady, ladies arms. Show them that, show them that dad body though. Yeah, don't, don't ever, boy. Don't ever, don't ever. What did you just do? Don't ever play me, man. Man, you crazy. I'm not doing no push-ups, bro. Nah. My shoulder about to pop out. Nah. Somebody said, oh, Fonz versus Basio push-up challenge. Don't say you're not doing push-ups. Just say that I do way more than you. No, I'm just not going to do push-ups. No, you're not. Let me train for it first. I'll do about 200 more push-ups than this guy. And I'm not going to even lie. He will. I'm standing in my lane right now. How about, how about a paintball challenge? I'm sorry. Paintball challenge. Y'all want to see that?
know. It's awesome. But do you suggest going to school for business to open a barbershop? No. No, definitely not. What do you suggest? For that? Suggest, I suggest reading a couple books on business. E the E Myth. So that you can so that you can um, figure out if you to see if it's something that you really want to do because if you never experienced owning a business, you don't know what comes with that, what responsibilities come with it. So check out a book called E Myth by Michael Gerber. If after you read that book you decide you still want to be a business owner, then just just read there's plenty of books out there that give you information. It's the same thing with this whole haircutting thing. You're gonna learn more more haircutting from YouTube and practicing than you probably will in school. The same is it's the same thing with opening a barbershop. You gotta like like there's plenty of books that teach you about business, but when you actually do it, that's when you're gonna learn. Clippers at Walmart to show y'all that it takes skill too. It's not always the machine. The machine helps though. I ain't gonna lie. I much. It's much more, <laughs> much more fun cutting hair with some good machines. But you could do it. You could do it without in the beginning. You know what I mean? But I don't think I don't think these would survive during a whole day of cutting hair. To be honest. Do I like a uh, barber now that I'm in the business? Hell yes. Yes, man. Listen, I was working the most miserable job for five years. The moment that I got in this shop, man, no doubts, no regrets. So if you were thinking about it, for those that are watching this and uh, don't know if they want to pull the trigger, pull that. Just make sure you get in the right shop around the right people, man, everything else. Works itself, man. Just be willing to work those long hours. Come in first, leave last, and it's gonna work itself out. How many cuts do you usually do a day, Rossio? Mm -hmm. Like 15 to 20 a day. I've been taking it easy nowadays, man. Like, I haven't, like, for six years, I, I went hard for six years. For six years, and now I'm kind of, you know, I'm more focused on the companies and, and the YouTube channel and educating and stuff. So, I take it easy now. Like before, I used to I used to bust out 100, 100 heads a week. I used to get it in, but now I'm now I've gone down to like the 70, 75, 80 range. If you could do things all over again, would you would you uh uh, uh go back and get a college degree? No, I wouldn't. Have. But that's that's me. That's just me. I had a I had a full scholarship between my academic and athletic scholarships. I had a full scholarship to a private school, and it was like the tuition at the time was like thirty thousand a year. Um, I don't regret it, man. I, I, the three years that I gained from from leaving, I, I learned a lot of things, man. I, I don't regret it. But I'm, you know, that's just my experience. It could be different for you. I would definitely suggest you go to school and try it out, um, unless you know what you want to do. Or it's the opposite. If you don't know what you want to do, if you don't know what you want to do, don't go to school yet. When you know what you want to do, and it requires school then go do it. If you want to be a doctor, if you want to be an accountant and it requires school, that, that type of thing, you want to be a CPA, go to school. If you don't know what you're going to do, don't get into all these loans and debt and stuff to do something and you, you switch your major a hundred times. So. Top three self-improvement books. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, you like that Nike book a lot. That's not my top three. No? Um, hashtag Ask Gary V. Hashtag Ask Gary V. Um, my other one. How to win friends and influence people? Oh yeah, that's the other one. How to win friends and influence people. Yeah, those, those are my top me. three.
shopping. How much did you report? Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I'm not a tax professional, man, but re be honest. Report what you make, man. That way you can buy a house. That way you can you can build real wealth. Real wealth. That's why people don't think that this is a real industry, a real um, profession. profession. But that's the barber's fault. Nobody else is. Uh, do you make tip money in barber school? Man, you shouldn't even worry about that. I mean, you do it. It'll, it'll help you with gas. I think the be the best advice Basio gave me when I was in school a few months ago. The, the biggest tip is the client letting you cut their hair. That right there was bars. I, that stuck to me for for the whole nine months that I was in school, bro. That's the biggest tip that the client's gonna give you. Don't don't feel entitled to a tip, man. You just learning, learn learning. You know, don't feel entitled to a tip. That's just a little bonus, but that's not why you're there. You're there to learn, man. You're there to to grow. So. If that guy comes back and he continues to allow you to to learn on his head, man, that's that's all you need. That's that's a tip big enough. So uh, you got somebody that says barbershop down in the, in South Florida. Barbershops in South Florida are missing the family atmosphere, missing hum, humbleness, customer service, and professionalism. What are a few things you look uh, for when hiring barbers? No, that's 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 in every city. It's not just in South Florida. That's every part of the world, every part of this country. Um, that's the barber industry. Uh, we look for good people. We don't look we don't look for good haircutters. You could teach people how to cut hair. You can't teach them how to be good people. So that's what we look for when we hire. Facts. Um, and that's the same thing with this channel, man. Like this channel is finding good people because good people are the ones who are gra gravitate to this channel. Good people subscribe to this. And um, I mean, we're just, we're, we're ge a new generation of this barber thing, right? So eventually every barber shop will well, um, subscribe to the whole Tune 45 movement, man. Uh, you can find me at Yo Fonz. As a matter of fact, I'll put it down right now. Yo Fonz. Yo Fonz. What color enhancement? I don't use no color enhancement. Why do you match your butt? Alright, so you guys watched the, the challenge. You gotta let us know what you think. My boy right here edited it. Obviously, I did the haircut. He got his haircut. You gotta let me know in the comments what you thought. But we can't let this finish without challenging somebody so i'm gonna challenge two people this is gonna be the walmart clipper challenge and i'm challenging christian perez and chuka the barber Ooh. 